and I'm a program manager on the React Native team at Microsoft. I'm so excited to be here and represent the React Native team. As it turns out, this is actually our fourth year participating in the React Native EU conference. This presentation will discuss how Microsoft is using React Native at scale to target billions of users across mobile and desktop. We hope that by the end of this talk, you'll learn a little bit about how Microsoft is using React Native and how you can leverage your React Native skills to also target even more users than ever before. Before we jump in, I'd like to introduce my co-presenters Slobo and Shivan. Slobo won't be joining us in person today, but he'll be sharing a demo a little bit later about Windows using React Native for Windows in Windows. <laughs> and now I'm going to pass it over to Shivan to introduce himself. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Shivan, and I'm a software engineer working on React Native for mobile. Awesome. Thanks, Shivan. Now let's get started. Now, when we talk about scale, there are very few companies that are working on as many apps and products and services as, as Microsoft. On screen are a few of the Microsoft products that use React and React Native to reach users across both mobile and desktop. And this isn't even all of them. Today, we're going to look at a few specific examples and explore how the React Native platform is critical to the success of Microsoft. Now let's take a step back and look at the React Native platform itself. At ReactConf in 2021, the team at Meta described React Native's many platforms vision. They showed a slide similar to this. The many platforms vision spans iOS and Android, desktop and VR, web and native. At Microsoft, we share the many platforms vision, although we obviously have a spot, soft spot for desktops. Now, when we talk about scale, we also know that JavaScript and TypeScript are two of the most commonly used languages by professional developers. We also know that React Native is one of the most popular cross-platform development frameworks, even beating out Flutter amongst professional developers, according to this year's Stack Overflow survey. We are blown away by the scale of this community and by the incredible things that you build. So it is critical to Microsoft that we help you bring these experiences to all of the users that Microsoft cares about. Now, in order to unlock the ability to bring your apps to both mobile and desktop, Microsoft is investing in improving all of these platforms, from iOS to Android to Windows to Mac OS. Let's start with uh, React Native for Desktop, which includes both des uh, Windows and Mac OS. There are two critical things that I wanted to highlight on the desktop platforms. First, we strive to ensure that desktop is as capable and powerful as React Native Core. We work closely with the team at Meta to ensure that React Native for desktop keeps up with core releases, as well as following along with the latest innovations happening in Core, such as Hermes by default and the new architecture. Secondly, React Native for desktop uses native components, meaning you get the latest look and feel by default. For example, when your React Native for Windows app runs on a Windows 11 machine, you get the latest styles and common controls by default. I just mentioned that React Native for Desktop strives to keep up to date with RN Core. Here's a quick visualization showing how long it has taken to rev RNW to the latest version of Core. Notice that over the last several releases, we've had a turnaround time of less than a week. We still have some work to do on the Mac OS platform, uh, but the latest version is version 68 and was released on July 7th. Now I talked about a bunch of plat uh, desktop platform investments, but let's see them in action. Windows 11 introduced the Your Microsoft Account page within the Operating System Settings app, which lets you manage your accounts, like your M365 account, your Xbox Gold account, etc. The settings team is using React Native to enable a fully native, high fidelity experience in settings while simultaneously enjoying the web-like developer inner loop. Now I'm going to pass it to my partner Slobo to show off these settings uh, or show off the settings experience in action. Windows chose React Native to improve developer experience and ship faster. Windows settings app uses React Native in on their accounts page. 
The rest of the app is a native C++ XAML app. It has a near native performance and high fidelity. It behaves like a native app. Clicking on the button, we can launch a file explorer. Or clicking any of these buttons here, we can open a browser. We can see here displayed billing information for Microsoft 365 subscription and also OneDrive information. Let's go to the browser on to accounts.microsoft.com and see our subscription information there. It looks familiar, similar to settings where we see the billing information, but here we also see payment method information. Let's add that to our settings. First, what we need to do is enable debug mode for the settings app. Now I'm going to relaunch settings app and it's loading the bundle from our dev box. It still looks the same. Let's go to the code and find where we need to make a change. So the feature flag here disables the payment method details. So we're going to enable it and when I save it, the page should reload automatically. And here we have now payment method details. Awesome. Thanks, Lobo. I wanted to quickly highlight two of the modules that the settings team used to create their experience, and so can you. These two modules let you call Windows-specific APIs to unlock the power of the native Windows SDK and the presentation layer so that you can supercharge your app on Windows. You can find more modules that work with Windows and Mac OS at reactnative.directory. This was just a taste of what the settings team built. If you want to learn more details about how and why the Windows settings uh, app is using React Native, check out the blog at aka.ms slash react RNW settings blog. Shifting gears, I Microsoft is investing across the breadth of reactive platforms, not just desktop. I'd like to pass the microphone over to my partner, Shivan, who will explain how the Office team is using and improving upon RN for mobile. Thanks, Steven. Hello, everyone. So. I'll be talking about another Microsoft product line used by millions across the world, and that is Office. We have invested heavily in React Native for building new experiences for Office over the last few years, especially on the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and the Office mobile apps. And we're still growing. Here's just a few of the experiences running on Office applications, all powered by React Native. And you will find many of these experiences, not just on mobile, but across desktop as well. So as Steven previously mentioned, React Native enables us to realize our mini platforms vision. Let's take the example of the Office mobile app. So the Office mobile app allows you to open and edit Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents all within the same app. This app has several millions of users and is available on both Android and iOS. As an example, one of the experiences we have very recently shipped to production in the last few months is the Feed tab, as we can see in this demo. So it basically gives you a personalized view of activity in your network, trending documents, and the ability to share documents with others. And this is a pure Brownfield React Native application. And as you can see, it has seamless near native performance with native look and feel for each platform. React Native thus helps us bring out experiences that feel natural and tailored to each platform to millions of users. So in order to make the Office suite of applications super performant on each device, we realize we also need to make improvements to the underlying JavaScript hosting architecture. For example, we have the ability to choose the right JavaScript engine for the job based on time to interaction and resource requirements. Currently, we've switched over to Hermes from V8 for several of the features on mobile. We've also made changes to the way we host our experiences. We switched over to a single shared instance for long lifetime features that start on boot. And we kept a 
we pay for play strategy for the others where the instance is created on demand. And these changes brought significant performance gains in runtime memory and bundle size. We're continuing to be flexible in the architectural choices that we make, where we decide on a feature by feature basis and through our engagement with the community and the React Native ecosystem, adapting to further changes to the React Native architecture as it becomes more performant and easier for developers to build with. And finally, as you've seen by now, we've been using React Native for products across Microsoft and across platforms, but we're also as passionate about investing in the React Native community and giving back as we are in investing in our own products. One such investment we have made is improving developer tooling for React Native and creating a smoother developer experience. Please go check out our friend Adam Foxman's talk titled Changing React Native from Within to learn more about how Microsoft is making life better for all React Native developers. And with that, I'll pass it back to Stephen. Awesome. Thanks, Shivan. Microsoft is using React Native to power experiences that reach billions of users across mobile and desktop. We hope that you're excited to use React Native to build scale just like we are. As I mentioned before, this is actually our fourth year presenting at RNEU. If you'd like to learn more about React Native at Microsoft, I'd highly recommend checking out last year's presentations. We also have talks about how we work closely with Meta and a deep dive into how you can get started with React Native for desktop specifically. These talks and more can be found at aka.ms slash React Native videos. It was our pleasure to speak with you about how Microsoft uses React Native at scale. We hope you're excited to get started. If you want to learn more, you can visit us at aka.ms slash React Native. And please check us out on Twitter at, at, <laughs> at, at React Native MSFT. Thank you so much.